pull these out. So I have that one outside. I just, I just had to pull it from the top. Ends right there. Slide it. And that should come off too with it. Now there's this part. So I lifted this part out too. And I have the other shift fork right here. So now to lift this up, you have to be careful because there's also a bearing that wants to come off with it. There you go. And I believe this ring will come off too. Right here. See this ring? So let's just flip it upside down. See this ring? So I just pulled off this one right here. And these are uh, two pieces. And that goes right on here. And you don't want to lose that, so I'll put it back right here. Yep, and it's got a magnet too, so and you can see right there, it's a little bit of metallic film that I had to clean up on there, so I'm gonna have to wash that. Um, I don't think I could get this off, but maybe I can. Okay, here's another shaft here. So this I'll put together. Oh, it came off. But I'm gonna leave this here with this one together, like so. Yeah, so that's all the parts that come off. So this, I'm gonna have this uh, washed up, um, clean, uh, detailed through the machine now shop. Now the process is taking this out. So in order to take this out, there's one, two, three, uh, let's see, four, five, six bolts, seven right here. And they're all the same size. They're all size 13 millimeter. Which I have right here. And that's just gonna remove it to get to the piston sensor that we have here. And also to remove these uh, magnets. And I'm gonna go clean these out too. So this long one here goes right here. That's this end right there. And then we have these sides right here. So they're not all the same. So this short one right here goes back here. And this other short one right here will go on this side. And that's it. And the rest, these four are the same size. And they will go on this, this hole right here, here, here. And also there's one in the back right here. Just a document. So I had a little bit of a struggle trying to take this out, but here you see that there's some seals here. Here's one, here's another one, and there'll be another one right here to a rubber seal. So once you take this out, you're gonna have to like kind of budget like to move it. It's happening from here probably like slightly with a flathead and a hammer. Here and somewhere here, and there's the guide. So once you do that, it'll pry open and you'll get this part out. And this will also come out too. And it's a pretty heavy piece. So I do it with both hands. Uh, bear with me right here. So I'll put you guys there. Set it over there. All right. So yeah, that's a pretty heavy piece right there. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll have that cleaned up. I'm gonna take this to the shop and see how I clean up. And the next one I'm gonna take out will be this um, oil pump for the filter that uh, they said it's bad so I'm gonna open it up clean it up and if it is bad I'm gonna switch it out
But yeah, here are the pistons I'm gonna replace with new pistons in there. And there's eight of them. Now so we're gonna one. take up the take off the pump and take that. We'll need a T. Let's see if it shows up here. T27, and that's the one that's gonna fit out on on these right here. Now this screw right here is for the to tie up to the filter. So what was that too? Yeah, if everything should be good and should be able to um, pop out easily. There it goes. And it still feels stuck a little bit in there. And it might be that one screw that's in the back. And that's the same size as well. T27. There it goes. There it goes. And that's a pump right there. So you have your two guides there and there for your pump. And now we're gonna open it up to see how bad how bad the pump is inside. Okay. So in this is a just a T27 torque screw. That would go in there to separate it. and then we could just open it up just like this and we see we have the gears here so I don't see anything wrong with this but who knows we'll open it up still looks like in good condition I don't think anything's wrong with it. Let's open this one up. Yeah, the pump looks, still looks pretty good. Okay. And there is a certain way where you have, how you have to put this in there. But, um, yeah, so I'm not going to replace the pump. I'm just going to clean it up. I guess the only way to put this in there is a certain way to align it. So yeah, so let me try to align the dot with the dot, like so. It works good. All right, that's it. So that's how you open the pump. And something I want make you guys aware about is that you don't want to lose these so if you ever take it out and you you're scared that um, these come out and you don't know where it goes don't worry about it so there's these threads right here for the pump the oil pump and that's where this is gonna sit so um, there's that one and then there's a second one up here and then there's also another one so these seals are just like one two so you have these two, three, and the fourth one will be right here. <clears throat> Those seals. And also this little pin that's right here you don't want to lose as well. Yep. And that should be it. So yeah, so this is a SST rebuild transmission. Okay, now we're going to take off these pistons. So there's one here. There's a big one right here. And now we're going to go over here to remove the other six. So there's a small one here. A 
bigger one here. And a small one here. Smaller one here. Mm -hmm. And then the rest are right here, somewhere here. See if I could turn it. Here they are. Now you're upside down. This one right here. This one. And the last one will be right here. And those are the eight pistons that I'll be switching out on this SST transmission.